Hi, this is a short follow-up video to the video I posted about adding an external audio jack to your Newtone Intercom Master Station. This is a 4406, it's an IM4406, in fact it's serial number 1987, so it was made in 1996 and it was within the very first production run of this model, and like a lot of these units, the CD player no longer works. Uh, the CD assembly is complete, but it doesn't function anymore, and unfortunately, these early CD players are no longer repairable. So for this customer, I added the auxiliary input jack over here on the side, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit. Here on the right-hand side of the master station, you can see the miniature audio jack that I've added. Uh, this allows the homeowner to plug in an external music source, it's connected to the auxiliary input on the back of the master station. This is a standard 1 8 inch or 3.5 millimeter stereo jack that's been converted for mono use. And the typical way that you would use this is to have a standard male to male 1 8 inch stereo or 3.5 millimeter stereo cable, audio cable, and you would plug the audio cable into the jack and then plug the other end into whatever the device is, your smartphone or a tablet or an iPod or satellite radio, and then it'll allow it to play through the station. But I think we can do a little better than this. So let me show you what's a better, more convenient way of doing it. So here you can see, again, same cable. One end plugs into the auxiliary input jack. And in this example, I'm just going to use my mobile phone, plug it into the uh, headphone jack down at the bottom, activate the <laughs> input, and we have a little boss gags playing. So this is a good setup and it works well for most people. However, the problem with this can be the location where your master station is installed. If it's on a wall with nothing around it, it's not in the backsplash of your kitchen cabinets, and there's no furniture around it, what do you do with, the, what do you do with your smartphone or your iPod? You have to get some kind of cradle or something to put it in and attach it to the wall, and then you've got this long cable and it's kind of a mess, and that's not necessarily the best way to go. So let me show you a better way. So here's a better way to connect your external music source to your Newtone Radio Intercom Master Station. This is a small Bluetooth receiver. This is this brand. This is an MPOW. All I did was I went on Amazon and I did a search for Bluetooth receivers. I purchased the very most popular one that I could find. I think when I bought this one, it came in on Monday. They had sold about 22,000 of these. And there's lots and lots of these available. And this was a whopping, I think it was $17 and shipping was free. So for $17, you get the Bluetooth receiver. There's a mini USB charging cable. You do get the eighth inch male to male audio cable and you also get this little connector here which is going to come in really handy. This is a sort of a male to male specialized kind of connector. This type of Bluetooth receiver is used a lot in car to connect to car stereos but it works really well for the intercom system also. So here's what you do with it. Oh, and this is battery operated. It has a built-in rechargeable battery that's what the USB cable is for. It's to charge it up. You can plug it into any USB wall charger or plug it into a USB port on your computer to charge it up. According to the manual that came with it, the battery will last for about eight hours of playtime. So far, I've used this throughout this week. The most it seemed to have run down in a normal day's worth of use, running around in the van doing service calls, about half a charge, I would say. It's pretty convenient and pretty easy to use. Let me show you how to um, connect it up. So on the front of the unit, there's a multi-use button. It allows you to turn the unit on and off and pause the unit to save battery. On the side, there's a plus and minus button. This allows you to scroll through the music on your smartphone. On the bottom is the mini USB connector for charging. And on the side here, 
is the audio jack. This is where this is going to plug in. So all you have to do is plug this in here and plug this into the external audio jack that I installed on the customer's intercom. Now what we're going to do is you have to pair it up with, with your phone or your other Bluetooth enabled device, which I've already done. So all we have to do is press play and we've got Boz Stacks. Let's turn him down a little bit. This is much more convenient for most people because the range of the receiver, it says in the booklet, it's about eight feet, so you can easily place this on a table or the kitchen counter. It doesn't have to be on the wall next to the intercom. And all of a sudden you have Wi-Fi capability on your intercom. The other thing you can do, let's stop the music for a second. If you're a little bit clever, since this uses Bluetooth, you can possibly set it up to connect to if you take your smartphone or another Wi-Fi enabled device you would be able to configure, configure your device to connect to the Wi-Fi in your home stream music from your computer or if you have Pandora or something like that and then play it with Bluetooth through the intercom so it has a lot of flexibility and you don't have to have an unsightly cable if you don't care for how this looks which I don't think is too bad choosing a spot to put the external audio connector it possibly could go on the bottom where you don't see the receiver as much as you do on the side but it's very simple when you're done with it all you have to do is unplug it that's how you add Bluetooth to your intercom and make it easier to use that's it. I hope this video helps you. If it does, please give it a big thumbs up on YouTube. If you find our videos informative and helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. It raises our search results on YouTube, which simply means more people will find our videos. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.